Hi everyone, this is an update on MobBob. Uh, the Arduino code is pretty much done, so what's left is to do the app. So I wanted to give a demo of what the Arduino code can do. Um, I'm going to put this code up in the post so you'll be able to see it, but I basically created a whole bunch of serial commands that you can send to MobBob. So there's things to check on the status, there's commands to set the specific servo angles, there's things to stop him, um, there's things to trigger the standard walking gates, and I've programmed a bunch of kind of cute little animations you can use to emote and that kind of stuff. So, um, here's a, it's currently hooked up to the serial monitor, so you can kind of see, um, type commands in interactively. But, um, because he's using a blue now, I can send these commands over Bluetooth as well. So, let's just start with something. Um, forward. So I've made all the commands, you can either just do that, which just does it once. And then the commands can also um, let you specify a specific number of times. So say, if you want him to do, take two steps. I've made the animation um, system kind of have kind of various tidy features, so including things like um, a finishing animation, so you can see it always ends up back in the base pose, because I've specified the walking gates have a end animation which resets him after the walking's done. And the end animation will happen even if you interrupt the walk with a stop, um, so that kind of is all taken care of automatically, so I try to make him as easy to use as possible. So. Um, now that I've kind of talked through the basics, I'll just kind of run through a bunch of commands so you can see how he works. So here's um, backwards. Uh, I'll just make him do it twice. And again, he resets himself back to the base pose afterwards. Um, all right, let's do some other ones. Um, Here's the left turn, just do it once. Actually, let's do, let's just do it twice. Um, okay, let's do a right turn. Yep, so those are basic walks. Um, I won't demonstrate the servo settings, but Basically, the server commands will let you tween him into specific poses over a specific amount of time. So I can tell him to move the angles, all his servers to specific angles within half a second, and it will interpolate that as smoothly as you can, which kind of makes it pretty easy to use. So I'll show off a bunch of the kind of cute things I've made, and I'll just set all of these to run uh, indefinitely. So yeah, so that's another thing. If you set it to negative one, like he'll just keep looping the animation. So. This is his shaking one. It's kind of like shaking left and right. Um, and this is his little bounce animation. It just kind of bobs up and down a little bit. Um, and this is his wobble animation. And just bops left and right. And I've also made um, like a left only version of this, uh, and a right only, but I won't show both, just because this is getting too long already. So this is um, left only. Um, then I've got a tapping his feet one. Uh, here we go. Yeah, this is tapping both feet. Very kind of a little uh, opposite of the bounce, essentially. Um, and then finally, I've made this kind of cute one where he shakes his legs. So he'll like go from leg to leg and give each one a bit of a shake. And I've got single leg versions of these as well. So now I do the stop command. So you can see when I execute the stop command, it actually waits till the end of the current animation loop before he does it. So uh, design it so you can kind of send the commands when you want and he'll kind of um, stop at the end of a loop, which kind of makes it easy and safe to use. 
Um, so I think that's about it for the Arduino code. Next things to do an Android and iOS app and to play with him and get him to do some fun behaviors. Alright, thanks very much for watching. This is a bit of a long video. Bye.